Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've currently just got a wash on at the moment so I hope the washing machine isn't too loud for you but I have just been having a little bit of a slow morning actually. It's currently half past nine and I'm only just dressed and doing myself breakfast and my coffee. I actually just made myself a breakfast something that I am loving doing at the moment and it's like one of the simplest things in the entire world but I first had this when we went to Tewton Glen. They had like little pots of it um and it was really funny because me and Alex turned to each other and went oh my goodness we should buy these pots and then actually I was like you know what? it's probably a lot simpler just to get the ingredients myself because it is literally just Greek yogurts and raspberry jam that is all it is I mean I'm sure it's not the most nutritionally complete breakfast but I'm not someone that likes having a really big heavy breakfast actually when we were in Gran Canaria he kept getting really annoyed at me because I just kept making myself this and having some fruit and then maybe like a little croissant um and he'd obviously go and make himself bacon egg he'd get himself a huge english breakfast and he'd always say to me you need to make the most of breakfast and i'm like but i'm not a big english breakfast kind of person like i just want something small something sweet i'm definitely a sweet per sweet breakfast kind of person um and yeah so i was making myself that every single morning so you would have seen it a couple of times actually in the vlog because they just had those little tiny pots of jam but yeah i literally just make that for myself in the morning and it's one of those really really simple breakfasts that actually is just exactly what i need so i've got that i've got my morning coffee i'm just going to sit down and do some emails whilst i'm having breakfast and then we can crack on with the rest of to show you today's outfit of the day i'm wearing the gorgeous next shirt dress that i unboxed in my last vlog it has pockets which is literally game changing so so handy especially if you're like me and you move about the house a lot i can just chuck my phone in my pocket sometimes it just <laughs> sounds so simple but like i absolutely love having pockets in my dresses and it's just such a gorgeous one like i can easily just chuck on my little Bowden cashmere cardigan if I get chilly in this but it's such a beautiful spring dress I'm absolutely in love with it. The reason why I actually came upstairs though is to chat through a couple of new bits that have arrived now obviously Mother's Day is just oh <laughs> Oh my goodness me, I literally just dropped that all the way under the desk. <laughs> goodness me, wasn't that smooth. But obviously Mother's Day is just around the corner and I love Mother's Day. I definitely think when it comes to like love languages, gift giving is definitely one of my love languages because I love Christmas, I love birthdays and I love every single celebration, whether it's Valentine's, whether it's Mother's Day, Father's Day. Like I love being able to celebrate those that I love and I do feel like getting gifts that they know that they're gonna love you know they're going to use that are going to be really really special i just find that such an amazing way of showing someone how well you know them how much you love them and so i love mother's day gifting so i wanted to chat through a few things that i feel like are perfect for mother's day gifting obviously i had my pandora at lunch the other day and we got chatting just about like gifting about like how much kind of jewelry we have and i was joking around with them saying that my mum has literally got into a point where she kind of just like points to things and like i would just like note it because obviously i have so many new jewelry i'm always wearing new pieces um like recently she pointed to this one so i've definitely noted this for her birthday but this one she was like oh that's a very nice one um and she just kind of like hints to me she's like oh that's lovely oh that's really nice so i picked up a couple of new bits for her for mother's day so i thought i would show you what i got her first of all actually not pandora related but whilst i was in london I stopped by Fortnum and Mason because if you guys have been following along since Christmas, you'll remember that my mum, my sister and I did afternoon tea at Fortnum and Mason at Christmas. It was so magical, so special. I definitely recommend it, even if it isn't like, you know, Christmas time or anything like that. It's just a sanctuary in London. I think that's the best way to describe it. And we have a little bit of a tradition with us girls where we love to test out different afternoon teas at different places. Um, so we have done, Limewood was definitely one of my favourites, Fortnum and Mason, Claridge's, The Ritz. What else have we done? We've done so many others. And I have to say Fortnum and Mason, it was up there. It was one of my favourites. I think nothing will ever top The Ritz. But Born of a Mason was really, really close because it was just so like calm. The music playing was beautiful. There was like a live pianist. It was so, so lovely. And the wait staff were just so attentive. Really, really lovely. And we actually had this sparkling tea. So my mum doesn't drink alcohol, which I know is obviously a big one when it comes to like Mother's Day gifting like champagnes and proseccos and wines and things like that. So sometimes it can be really tricky getting her something that's non-alcoholic but special. And we tried this when we were at Fortnum and Mason. It's the sparkling tea blended from a fine selection of organic black, white and green teas. It's fresh herbal and citrus and the only way to describe this is it's kind of like a non-alcoholic champagne but without that like 
alcohol aftertaste. Like it's a little bit sweeter than champagne, but not as sweet as like lemonade. It was so lovely. And it's funny actually, because my sister doesn't like tea and she loved this as well. So we were all drinking it when we had our afternoon tea. And I thought seeing as though I was in London, I walked over to Green Park and picked this up because you can get it on delivery, but I figured if I was in London, I may as well pick it up in person. So this would be a great gift. You can literally get next day delivery on Fortnum and Mason. Um, and I definitely would recommend checking out Fortnum and Mason if your mum likes jams, hampers, like, you know, fruits, veg, things like that. They just have the most amazing hampers, whether it's food, whether it's beauty, whether it's home. I love the Fortnum and Mason hampers. I'll link them down below because they would also be a really, really great gift. Um, but yeah, I picked that up because I thought that would be really, really lovely. Um, and then the Pandora pieces that I got, I think she's really going to like these. So the first piece I am so in love with. Now I really love how many kind of like special collections Pandora has and how many like personalized collection. One of my favorite collections is the birthstone collection. You'll know I'm not actually wearing them today but I've got my birthstone rings. And what I've started doing is collecting them in the stones of the people that I love. It almost feels like a bit of Avengers, it's like collecting the affinity stones, but collecting the birthstones of the people that I love. So I now have mine, Alex's and my mum's, which I just think is so, so special. So when I saw these, I just had to pick them up. So these, I believe, are the April birthstone, and they are just the cutest thing. So it's like this clear stone, which is um, when my mum's birthday is. So it's her birthstone that I thought would be so, so nice. And they look like little flowers, like they look like little poppies or something, which is so, so cute. I just thought they were really, really lovely. My mum loves stud earrings as well, so I thought those would be a really nice gift and really special, so she can wear those um also i know she's not going to watch this video before mother's day so we've got time don't you worry she's not going to be seeing these um and you guys still have time make sure i mean i would definitely recommend just checking next day delivery if you are ordering any of these pieces but the next thing i picked up is this bracelet which i am actually wearing here which my mum said that she really really likes she's like me she likes to mix her metals some days she's gold some days she's silver some days she's a mix of both um and i remember her mentioning that she really liked my little gold chain i think i already got her silver one it's so funny honestly like it's really easy being a Pandora ambassador because I just showcase the pieces that I like and then she comments on it and then I get them for her for Mother's Day or um, her birthday and then the last piece she does already have this but this is something I talk about a lot when it comes to Pandora jewelry I love stacking the same piece twice like I find that really fun so obviously I've got two of pretty much the same bracelet but they're in different metals you know so it's a little bit different but I love stacking my two pearl bracelets together. So I actually picked my mum up another one of the pearl chain bracelet. This is actually from Pandora Me and is super, super affordable in terms of like pearls, which is what I really, really like about this. And she loves wearing her pearl bracelet. She loves pearls. Like it's one of her favorite things. I definitely get that from her. And um, so I thought this bracelet would be really, really nice. And I feel like these are kind of like collections that you can definitely look into in Pandora. If you have a mum who also likes pearls, they've got the earrings, they've got the necklace, like they've got different styles of the necklace. They've got the gold one which is like a little bit lighter if maybe you've got like a really really petite mum and she doesn't wear like heavy jewelry that might be nice if you have mum that's going to be a little bit more maximalist and she likes like big pearls big earrings i would definitely recommend so i will leave some links down below to some of my favorite pieces to look at from pandora i would definitely recommend particularly the pearl collection and the birthstone collection because i think they are probably going to be just like the most personable with regards to your kind of like mother's day gifting and they're going to be the most personalized so i thought she would really really love those so i need to wrap these up at some point so i give them to my mum write her a little card as well because i honestly i just love gifting i love mother's day and i've actually decided that i am going to be hosting this mother's day i am going to be doing a roast just a little bit nerve-wracking and a little bit scary. I might give it a bit of a practice this week with Alex. He is going to be supervising me because he's really good at roast, but obviously my mum is not his mum, so I don't expect him to cook the roast for everyone. Um, so I've asked him if he will help me and like supervise me in cooking a roast because I really am loving being in the kitchen a lot more. I haven't been showing you like every meal I've been cooking or like, everything that I've been baking because I do feel like it's nice to not be good at something and nice to kind of just allow yourself the grace of like getting better at something, learning something. Um, and then once I've like nailed each recipe, I can like show you. So obviously my strawberry and peach crumble nailed that, which would be a big crowd pleaser actually if maybe your mum doesn't want a gift gift. I know so many mums at Mother's Day are like, no, don't buy me anything. Please don't, you know, don't spend any money. So it's quite a nice thing to like be able to give them something that's more, you know, personal. You just kind of spent time on it rather than spending like money on gifts and things like that. So I will leave my strawberry and peach crumble recipe down below as well. But um, yeah, that's the plan. 
I feel like you always know when I've had a couple of hours on my laptop because I always start to get a little bit chilly and that's when the layers start going on. So I've just chucked on my little Bowdoin cashmere cardigan. I love this so much. It's just like really loose, really flowy. So perfect to start with any like spring summer dresses when you just start getting a little bit chilly. I don't know about you, but as soon as I like stop and sit for a while, I get so, so cold. Um, so it's a little while later now, but I thought before I kind of like get my makeup off and cozy down for the evening, I want to go through a few more mother's day gifting ideas because i have been getting really really inspired i'm creating some edits and some like shopping links um for you guys to have a look at because i know when it comes to these kinds of gifting like seasons obviously valentine's day mother's day father's day it can be really really tricky knowing where to even like start um because there's so much out there obviously budgets are like different what you want to like gift them and things like that um so i have got five categories to look at that I feel like make really great Mother's Day gifting items, things that you can kind of like look at for your own mum. And I thought I would just show you some favorite pieces that I feel like so many mums would absolutely love. Different price points, different categories. Um, So first category, perfume. I feel like perfume is such a great one when it comes to Mother's Day gifting. I really like gifts that are a bit more personal and you really like put thought into and so maybe if you know your mum's favourite fragrance that's a great one to give her a top up of or finding her a new one. I feel like fragrance is so special like you can really relate it to a memory you can wear it for like special occasions and things like that these are two favorites that i feel like would be absolute crowd pleasers for your mom so first of all is the molten brown rose dunes now this i would say is one of my most highly complimented perfumes ever like ever 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 every time i wear this i get questions like oh my goodness what perfume is that it's absolutely amazing it lasts really really well and it's just such a lovely Oh, lovely, lovely scent. It's not too floral, so if you're worried about the fact that it has rose in the title, it's not too floral at all. It's not like old lady-ish. It's just like a really gorgeous perfume. And I feel like you can wear this like day and night, so I think that's a great option. Or alternatively, Jo Malone. I feel like Jo Malone is an absolute crowd pleaser. Like so many of us love Jo Malone for a reason. It's classic, it's cult. Like they just have so many gorgeous, gorgeous scents. And one of my favorites is the English Pear and Freesia. Again, one of my most complimented perfumes. I feel like I really do put my like perfume choices against like what's the most complimented and what people seem to like me wearing and english pair and freesia is another one that everyone loves this is like an everyday scent for me i wouldn't say this is more of an evening one it's just like a really easy everyday scent and it's also great for layering so you could actually layer both of these together which is really really nice but again if your mum likes joe malone it's a great one to maybe add to her collection because she can layer with pretty much any other joe malone scent that she already has as well about Jo Malone. They really do focus on like layering and putting your perfumes together and seeing how they kind of like mix. So yeah, really love the English Pet and Frisia scent. So any kind of perfumes I think would be really lovely, but those are two absolute favorites that I think any mum would love. Next up, little bit bougie. I kind of don't really want to unwrap this because I'm actually thinking of gifting this to my mum. Um, but you know, no, I'm just gonna unwrap it and I'll wrap it up properly in my um, Mother's Day wrapping paper. I've got some really cute little like floral wrapping paper from m and um, So as you guys know, I am an ambassador for Oral-B and I absolutely love Oral-B. Like I rave about them so, so much. I feel like their products are just speak for themselves. Like they really are fab and their toothbrushes are game changing, absolutely game changing. One of the things that I learned very quickly from Oral-B is that I brush way too hard. Like it gives you a little red light if you brush too hard. Actually that can be really damaging to your gums. Um, and ever since using an Oral-B toothbrush, if ever I have to go back to using a manual, I don't feel like my teeth have been cleaned properly. I can really feel the difference. Um, so yeah, they very kindly sent me a new one. It's this really gorgeous little, like pinky toned one. It's from IO6 um, collection. They've got different IOs, which is like different levels, obviously different price points. But I would say the IO6 is my favorite. I have actually had an IO9, which technically is obviously a couple of levels above that, but I personally prefer the IO6. I just find that with regards to the features I use the most in the IO6, it's like the handiest, the battery lasts a really, really long time, um, and like the travel case is great. So I think I will also be gifting that to my mum, especially because she helped me with my um, Oral B Mother's Day campaign that I filmed um, <laughs> for my Mother's Day content with them. Um, yeah, that's a really, really good one to gift as well, but obviously much higher price pointed and a little bit more spenny. So just wanted to throw it in as an option but depending on your budget, it might be a bit too much. So if you've got a smaller budget, I would definitely recommend just looking into products that are really targeted towards like self-care, looking after themselves, pampering themselves, because I don't know about you, but I feel like mums often neglect themselves with regards to that. Like they really forget about giving themselves that self-love and self-time and giving themselves a pamper. So I feel like something that maybe will force that is a great idea. So like 
bath oils, bath soaps, things like that. Basically anything from L'Occitane I think will be an absolute hit. This is the Levant de Haute Provence foaming bath and I love it, love it, love it, love it. You can also just get it as like a top up if she already has this. What might be a really, really cute idea actually is if you do like a little hamper, like a little homemade hamper, homemade basket with just a few of your favorite L'Occitane products thrown in there. I think that would be so, so lovely. So this is kind of like a little treat self have an evening off, relax, unwind, enjoy with a gorgeous lavender bath scent. <laughs> I feel like makeup is also a really, really nice one. I am thinking of gifting this to my mum. It's one of the Bobbi Brown blushes that I got sent a little while ago. Um, and she's been complimenting on my blush ever since. Now I've been wearing coral blush, I think it's called, blushed coral. Yeah, this one is blushed bronze, which I think will be the most like my mum. It's like a really, really gorgeous, like darker bronzer. It's a little bit um, almost like brownie in tone, which is so beautiful. I feel like blushed bronze is just like the perfect name for this. And I thought she would really, really like that. The packaging is just absolutely stunning. I feel like Bobbi Brown have some really gorgeous products. Lots of gorgeous gifting. They've actually just done a new collection as well, which I believe is like a charity thing, which might be really cute to gift your mum, because obviously gift for her, money goes to charity, like that's a really, really lovely thing to do. Um, I definitely recommend checking out some Bobbi Brown products, like their lipsticks, their blushes, their bronzers, a really, really big crowd pleaser. So I definitely think some nice new like makeup, top ups of some of their favorite products would be so lovely to get for Mother's Day. And then lastly, I feel like a nice bougie candle never goes amiss. Like a bougie candle or even like a reed diffuser. This is my base candle from Diptyque and oh my God. Oh, it just smells absolutely incredible. I don't even like this. I don't even need to like this because it just fills the room with its scent. Um, and you can actually shop this from Farfetch. I believe there's like a week left to use my code. So if you want to get it discounted, you can get 10% off your first order with LEFF10. What I might do as well is just link below to a few like beauty bits from Farfetch and some things that you can shop for Mother's Day at 10% off because you don't have much longer to be able to use my discount code. But I think a lovely bougie candle, obviously you can go any size. You can go like the mini one, you can go this one, you can go the really big one if you want to go all out with your Mother's Day gifting. There's so many different options but again I think it's so nice because they can fill their home with that scent it becomes really really special and personal they can give themselves enough pamper night if you're going to do these two products it's a great one to pair together um but I just think it's really nice to show your mum how well you know her how well you like know her interests and her likes and things like that and I think Mother's Day is the perfect time to do that so I hope that's given you a few ideas because I know it can be so overwhelming when it comes to Mother's Day gifting but all the links will be down below if you want to shop any of these pieces Good morning everyone and happy Saturday now as I'm filming this. It is Saturday morning, although I say that it's only just about still the morning. I am freshly showered and feeling really, really lovely. I feel like there's nothing better than just like one of those full body washes, like a really good scrub, washed my hair. I have a little bit of like a Saturday tradition now and I'm really, really enjoying it where I always go for a run on a Saturday morning. I actually go for a run with my dad and it is one of the most wholesome things because it just means that we get to like catch up on our week, chat about how things have been going um, and it's just some nice like one-on-one -on -one time with him. Um, so went for a run this morning and I'm really, really happy with how I am with my runs at the moment. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm really strong. I'm getting a little bit quicker as I am going um, and I just feel so good for it afterwards and I always like to treat myself to a croissant after a long run because I feel like there's nothing better than when you're exercising than something to look forward to at the end of your exercise so I always treat myself to a nice croissant and then have a full body shower and it's just like my favorite way to start the weekend because I feel like I've just like reset myself it's like a really nice routine that I've gotten into Alex usually heads to the gym and then we meet up afterwards have a nice breakfast get washed showered and ready for the day and then head out for like our Saturday at plants and it really is just my favorite routine at the moment I really really love it um although I don't know if anyone else is noticing this with my camera but ever since switching to my new camera I feel like it's making me very washed out and I'm not entirely sure because obviously settings wise I've got it the exact same as my old camera um, but I actually fake tanned yesterday and in person I'm looking at myself thinking you look nice and glowy and a little bit bronzed on camera I'm like wow you look washed out so I'm not really sure why it's kind of coming up so stark at the moment I mean I know that I normally sit by a window and so maybe the window's washing me out but obviously my old camera never used to do that um, honestly I miss my old camera so much the fact that I lost it from Gran Canaria. I did actually get in contact with the airline to see if they had any signs of it, but unfortunately it is long gone. So might have to have a little bit of a play around with the settings with this. Um, but as I said, I've got it exactly the same as what my old one used to be. I feel like cameras really do vary. Like even though it's the exact same camera, camera to camera, it really does vary. But um, 
Anyway, got on very off topic, but seeing as though it is a Saturday, we like to just take our weekends pretty chill down here in Hampshire. Like, I don't really dress up too much on a weekend anymore. I feel like weekends are for just comfy clothes, like very minimal makeup. I wash my hair, um, but I've just chucked it back in a bun, which is probably a bit of a cardinal sin to do with freshly washed hair, but I'm really not in the mood of styling it today. So I've literally just chucked it back in a bun and I've gone for very, very minimal jewelry. I feel like on my minimal days, I love gold jewellery. I don't know why. I feel like it just elevates the look a little bit. And especially when I'm wearing a jumper like this, where it's got like gold accents. I think it's really, really nice to like tie that in. So I've got my favourite little gold plated huggy hoops from Pandora. My gorgeous brilliance ring. And then I've kind of started with a bit of a mix of metals. We've got a gold chain bracelet, my silver knot ring. Um, and then a couple of bangles on this hand. And I just really, really like how it looks. Um, but it's a really, really chill one this weekend. I think we are actually going to be heading out to Romsey this afternoon for a little bit of a wonder. Romsey is like our local village to us and it is literally my favorite place to go to at the weekend because it's just wholesome vibes i feel like it's the best way to describe it really wholesome vibes i think we might stop off at josie's which if you are from around hampshire if you're from down south you'll know josie's because josie's is chef's kiss absolute chef's kiss like the best brunch lunch coffee place down here and they've kind of like started to franchise a little bit which is really exciting they're expanding quite a lot i think the first one was in winchester so they've got one in winchester one in romsey one in bishop's waltham one in petersfield and then they've just opened a new one in chandler's ford as well so there's quite a few around in hampshire um it's the kind of place they were like they don't take reservations you can only join like the virtual queue online um so we will have to join the virtual queue and just have a little bit of a wonder until they are ready for a table with us and it is the kind of place that is always full like always always full there's always a huge queue it's always got so many people in there because it's just so popular and just like ugh, the food is fabulous the coffee is sensational and the vibes like it really has just like a lovely wholesome vibe so i think we might head to josie's for a bit of a, a coffee maybe like some cake just to feel up this afternoon um and just have a little bit of a wonder around the village it really is one of my favorite things to do on a saturday just have a wonder pop into brad beers which is like the little department store there go into some of the independent boutiques and just enjoy the countryside vibes. We might also pick up some fruit and veg from the market whilst we're there as well. So that's kind of the plans for today, which I am really, really looking forward to. Super quick little outfit of the day before we head out. I must admit, if there's one thing that I will miss from winter, it's being able to just chuck on a coat to elevate any outfit. Like I have got literally the comfiest, coziest outfit on. I've just got a pair of black wide leg trousers and my little stripy roll neck, which by the way, I must admit, when it comes to having my hair up, I feel like roll necks are just such a great way of like pulling that outfit all together. I hate having my hair up with anything that's like a lower cut, like a V, a scoop neck. I feel like it just looks very unfinished. As soon as I add a roll neck, I'm like, ooh, that is an outfit. So roll necks and coats, I'm definitely going to miss when it comes to going into the warmer months. I've just chucked on my little ivy and oak coat, which is an absolute favorite. It's like a wool coat long line belted it's so comfy it's so cozy um i'm really elevated as well i feel like it just looks so beautiful i always get so many compliments when i wear this i've just added in my little mulberry bag because it pairs so beautifully with the coat and it's a perfect weekend handbag like i just wear it crossbody most of the time it fits in everything that i need my phone my keys my camera my wallets like everything to take with me um as i'm looking at this clip as well even this is looking a bit blown out to me i'm not i don't know what's going on with this camera so i'm really sorry if you've noticed that a lot of the clips recently have been a bit more blown out and a little bit more like whitewashed but this camera just doesn't seem to like the very like white background behind me it's actually ironic because it's a really gray day today so in person it's not overly bright it shouldn't be getting washed out i'm not sure what is going on i really do need to have a play about with the settings on this camera so really really sorry if this is looking totally blown out on your iPad screen, laptop screen, TV screen. Um, I'm not entirely sure what is going on, but um, anyway, just wanted to show you a super quick little outfit of the day for an afternoon of wandering around our local village in Romsey.
are back from Romsey now. Such a lovely little afternoon expedition into our local village. Sorry if you can hear the background noise, by the way. I've just chucked a load of washing in because Saturdays are wash days here in the house. Um, but yeah, it was just the perfect way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Despite the fact that it is gray, it is miserable. Today, it's still nice just to get out and like get into the fresh air, have a little bit of a wonder, stretch the legs and enjoy an amazing milkshake with Josie's. Oh my goodness me. I think I showed you the milkshake that I was having and it was literally a meal in itself. Like a meal in itself. It's so decadent. It was an Oreo milkshake. They do some of the best milkshakes. They have like Biscoff, Oreo. I think they've got like salted caramel. Oh, oh my goodness. I literally couldn't even finish it. They even give you like extra in like a separate um, like metal cup, which Alex helped me out with because I just couldn't even finish my half of it. It was just so, so decadent, but absolutely delicious. And just such a perfect way to spend an afternoon. And it was actually quite a successful trip. I wasn't really planning on doing like shopping whilst we were there but I did pick up a couple of bits which one of which I am so excited to show you over here above the sofa we've already put it up I'm definitely going to have to move this one here because we always had this Highland Coo um, up here this is just a little decennio one but this I picked up from a little independent boutique and oh my word I am in love with it my little Highland Coo it's just the cutest thing ever and I'm actually really impressed with how much the colors match the sofa I think I spoke about this when we first got this new sofa but one thing I did really struggle with this is how cool toned it was a lot of my neutrals are quite warm toned like if you look at the rug and things like that it's a very warm toned rug I am still looking to get something to replace this with um, but I haven't really been successful in what I have found yet so this is just staying for now, um, but yes, it's a very cool toned sofa, and I have been looking for the perfect piece of art to go above it for such a long time. For a while, you'll remember we had this Desenio print, which is very lovely. It's like a beigey kind of like line art print, but I feel like I'm just kind of like over this line art. I like it in some aspects of the house. Like we've got it in our bedroom. I really, really like it up there. I like it in my office, but I feel like down here in this more kind of like traditional country farmhousey type vibe room, I wanted something that was more like a painting this is actually a painting um so there's no like glass in front of it so if you look at like the difference between this as you can see there's huge reflections on this whereas this is just sitting so so beautifully and i love the fact that it's this like beigey pinky toned background um and oh honestly i love it my little highland coo i just think is so so special if you don't know both alex and i have scottish heritage scotland's a very very special place to the both of us um and we just both fell in love with it as soon as we saw it, so I just had to pick it up. And I just love the fact that it came with the white frame as well, because it just sits so, so perfectly above the sofa. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, and another thing that I've not had a chance to show you, actually, is a new curtain that we picked up. Now, I've not started up very well, because it's really, really tricky for me to reach. And I don't think this is going to be the kind of curtain that we, like, keep closed a lot. It's more just to add a little bit more, like, tone and texture. I always feel like adding curtains and, like, window decors is a really, really great way of adding a bit of warmth to a room. We never had anything that dressed this window before. So I actually picked this up from H&M Home. It's, like, this little, um, kind of beigey, neutral linen curtain fabric. What I really, really like about it, so we already had this kind of like pole here, is it's really not heavy, so we could just add it to that. And then in terms of the ties, you literally just tie it up like that. Um, so as I said, I feel like I haven't styled it the best, but it's just gonna be one of those that just kind of like sits there. It's just a nice way of adding a little bit more texture to this kind of like this side of the room. Cause obviously around the rest of the room, we've got so much texture. We've got so much like patterns, we've got cushions, we've got dressings. Whereas I didn't really ever have anything there. Um, also I forgot to show you, but my, what did I have here? My parsley has not survived. I was using my rosemary for like a really nice vegetable dish that I did the other night. So that I'm hoping is going to grow back quickly because I'm also hoping to do a roast this weekend. So this will be perfect for that. And the basil, oh my goodness, the basil is loving life there. This windowsill gets a lot of sun. It's annoying me there. Um, this windowsill is getting a lot of sun, like the sun di shines directly in there. So I will have to be probably a bit careful in summer that they don't overheat. But for now, it is just the perfect place to put them. And I really love the way that it just kind of like styles up the window we've got our faux flowers we've got a little like greenery and i've just got a few trinkets in the corner um so yeah i feel like the kitchen space is just my favorite favorite space to be in because it's just so warm it's so inviting and now that we've got the addition of my little painting here i feel like it really really is complete i'm gonna have to find something to replace that because i feel like we can't have two highland coos next to each other so i'm gonna have to put him somewhere else because i don't want to say goodbye to him i do love him he was like my first kind of um 
I would say that this picture, like print from Desenio, is almost like my first little kind of like escapade into a bit more of like that country vibe. And it never used to go in our flats, whereas I feel like it works really, really well in our house. Um, so yeah, but the only difficulty is I would love not to have anything here. There is actually a nail already in. So unless we were to patch up the wall, I do need something there. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I could do like a little wreath or something that might be really cute to look into. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts and ideas of what I could do there, but just how gorgeous is my Highland Coo? I absolutely love him. As well as the new home bit, I actually picked up a couple of beauty bits from Bradbiz as well. If you don't know Bradbiz, it I think is one of the oldest department stores in the UK. I don't know how many there are around the UK, but it is. The only way to describe it, I think, is the most wholesome department store. Like, it's so lovely. It's so much smaller than, like, a John Lewis or a Debenhams or things like that. And it just kind of has everything that you need. Like, it's got the concession stands. It's got all of that beauty, the makeup. The kitchen section is one of my favourite sections to visit because it just has everything. Like, Le Creuset. It's got loads of cute, like, mugs. Laura Ashley Home. Like, honestly, I just love it. We spent so, so long in there. Although, I'm not going to lie. I was getting a lot of funny looks for filming in there. And a lot of staff actually approached me and asked if I was okay. Okay, and Alex turned to me and was like, do um do they think you're like surveying the shop or something? I was like, I don't know, because I was just like filming, wandering around, showing you what was in there, and they kept just coming up going, You okay? You're right. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, fine, thanks, just having a wonder, getting some clips of like what's in, it's just really nice to see, and they were all kind of like, oh, okay, and like I could just see them kind of like watching me. It was very odd. Um, I get that sometimes you're not allowed to film in stores, but a department store I've never really been told not to film in. Um, but I did also pick up some like underwear bits and things like that. I'm not gonna show you those, but one of my favourite little concessions in Brad Biz is L'Occitane. You guys know how much I adore L'Occitane and everything that they have. So I picked up a few bits that I needed. Number one is a refill of the Lavender Foaming Bath. La, I can't remember what it's called. La, La something. Levant, I think it's called. Um, the Bath Foaming thing. So I have the like metal... Um, decanter I guess you would call it for this but what I actually really really like that Loxtan does is they just do like refills that you can get and I go through this bath foam like nobody's business I have quite a few different like bath foams and bubble baths and oils and things like that but nothing compares to this I love it so so much it's really easy to use like you literally just pour a little bit into your bath like I have some that I really like like my Laura Mercier the honey one I really like but I do find the whole kind of like having to use that little honey stirrer it's a little bit of a gimmick, in my opinion. It's just a little bit too much effort. I just want to pour it in, let the kind of like bubbles foam up and just smell the fragrance throughout my entire bath. And lavender is one of the most calming fragrances in the history of the world. So I really, really like this. So picked up a top up of that. I then picked up a top up of the L'Occitane Immortel. This is the Proactive Essential Water, which is basically a tonic, is the best way to describe it. It's a skin tonic, and I use this at the end of my skincare now. I feel like I need to do a bit of an updated skincare, because I really do feel like I've got to a good point with my skincare, and I'm really, really happy with how it's, like, looking, how it's kind of feeling, and I just feel like the fact that I'm confident enough to wear this no makeup makeup look, like, I don't have any concealer on, I don't have any foundation on, I've literally just got on my Pixie H2O skin tint and a tiny bit of powder. That's all I've got on, and it's literally the lightest weight thing that I can have on my skin, and the fact that I'm confident enough to do that, I really do feel like is a huge, huge factor because of my skincare. Like, I really, really value my skincare at the moment because it just makes such a huge difference into how my skin's looking, the texture, how many spots I'm getting, and having good skin, I feel like you just can't put a Price on it and I definitely have noticed a correlation between how seriously I'm taking my skincare routine and how my skin is looking so this is something that I do morning and evening now is just use a little cotton pad I just have the reusable ones that I picked up from I think look fantastic um, but you can get them almost anywhere like Amazon look fantastic things like that reusable cotton pad a little bit of this and I just use a bit on one side in the morning a bit on the other side in the evening so I can reuse them like as much as possible and it's just a great way of just really cleaning your skin I think that's the best way to describe it like it really just gets deep into your pores and gives your skin a good clean and I actually use it in um, conjunction with this which i really really like as well this is the loxatine oil to milk facial makeup remover and i really really like these together this i now use as my kind of like in shower face wash um so i don't use this as much of like a full-on cleanser but i just use it as a bit of like 
at the end of my shower, once I've washed my hair, once I've done all of like everything like that, you know, washed my body, shaved, exfoliated, whatever I need to do, this is like the last step. And I feel like, again, it really makes a big difference in the cleanliness of my skin. It's a really nice one. It says it's for all skin types, even sensitive. It does face, eyes, and lips, and even takes up waterproof makeup, which I've not tried, but maybe I should give that a try with my waterproof mascara. So these two together, such a lifesaver so i picked up a top up of those and then i also picked up a top up of the immortel reset overnight reset eye serum now you guys will know that when it comes to eye serum i'm so so picky and i have been in love with this ever since i used it i tried it for the first time maybe like a month ago and oh my goodness me i've used it pretty much every single night since it says for under eye booster rested youthful and glowing look with a powerful botanical complex and immortel from corsica it's a really really lovely one let me like open it to um show you it literally looks like a mini version of the immortel reset serum but it's so so nice and i love to have a serum instead of a cream for my under eyes because i get really puffy when i use a cream especially if i use it at night I that my eyes just don't respond well to it they don't react well they want something really lightweight that's almost just going to be like a drink for my skin and that is exactly what i feel like this is so i picked up the top up of that as well so it's really nice to be able to pick up those bits from brad beers that's what i really really love about it it's like a department store in the middle of a village in the middle of the country it's just a perfect way to like get everything that you need they've got all of the like fashion brands there as well like phase eight and i don't know what else um hobbs what else have they got? The bras that I want, the pyjamas that I pick up. Like, they have so, so much that I need there. So, um, yeah, it was such a lovely afternoon spent in Romsey. I would definitely recommend a visit if you are looking to come down to Hampshire. And I will always give so many Hampshire recommendations. I feel like one of these days I need to, like, sum it up in a blog post. How to spend, like, a week in Hampshire. Or how to spend a weekend in Hampshire. How to spend 48 hours in Hampshire. Because there's just so much to do and see and visit. But I would definitely add Romsey to your list. Because it's just the loveliest little quaintest village. You can have a wander around. Pop down to the New Forest for the afternoon and just oh, it's my favorite favorite thing so yeah feeling very grateful for where i live at the moment weekends in hampshire are literally just my favorite